Hey friends, I hope the morning's treating you well. Hope you got some coffee. If you like coffee, I do not have any. But it's raining like hell. And I'm here at Lake Monona in Madison, Wisconsin. I'm uh, underneath a little shelter here. But this is the spot where Otis Redding's plane went down back in 1967. Otis Redding is one of my all-time favorites. Nobody sings like Otis Redding. Just an absolute be beautiful, beautiful performer and voice, and uh, just one of those cats that just had it all. And he was on his way from a gig in Cleveland. Uh, he was supposed to play here in Madison, and the plane went down in this lake four miles from its final destination where it was supposed to land. Terrible, horrible thing. And uh, the thing I've always heard is that the people at the venue that he was supposed to play, um, they were all there and they announced that Otis Redding's plane had, went, you know, had crashed and that I, they probably announced he was dead right then, which I can only imagine, I can only imagine what that would feel like. But I figured I would share, I'd read a little bit about uh, from Wikipedia um, just to give you guys a little background. It says, by 1967, the band was traveling to performances in Redding's Beach H-18 airplane. On December 9th, they appeared on the upbeat television show produced in Cleveland. They played three concerts and two nights at a club called Leo's Casino. After a phone call with his wife and children, Redding's next stop was Madison, Wisconsin. The next day, Sunday, December 10th, they were to play at the Factory Nightclub near the University of Wisconsin. Although the weather was poor, with heavy rain and fog, and despite warnings, the plane took off. Four miles from their destination at Truax Field in Madison, pilot Richard Fraser radioed for permission to land. Shortly thereafter, the plane crashed into Lake Monona. Barquet's member Ben Colley, the accident's only survivor, was sleeping shortly before the accident. He woke just before impact to see bandmate Fallon Jones look out a window and exclaim, Oh no. Colley said the last thing he remembered before the crash was unbuckling his seatbelt. He then found himself in frigid water, gr grasping a seat cushion to keep afloat. As a non-swimmer, he was unable to rescue the others. The cause of the crash was never determined. Besides Redding, the other victims of the crash were four members of the Barquets, guitarist Jimmy King, tenor saxophonist Fallon Jones, organist Ronnie Caldwell, and drummer Carl Cunningham. Their valet, Matthew Kelly, and the pilot Frazier. Redding's body was recovered the next day when the lake was searched. The family postponed the funeral from December 15th to December 18th so that more could attend the service. It took place at City Auditorium in Macon, Georgia. More than 4,500 people came to the funeral, overflowing the 3,000 seat hall. Redding was entombed at his ranch in Round Oak, about 20 miles north of Macon. I um I don't know. It's uh I can't imagine. I just can't imagine what it would feel like if anybody's been on a plane and it loses altitude. You might drop 10, 15, 20 feet, but that feeling is just unbelievable. And then just knowing you're in a plane going down, I can't imagine the terror of that. But um, when I think of Otis Redding, I'm a fr I hope I don't get this wrong. There's a live uh, video of him. I think it's at Monterey. Maybe you guys can tell me if I'm wrong about that. But there's live footage out there that is just absolutely stunning of him just being in complete command of the audience and the band. And he sings. You can hear the thunder. His voice, you know, everything about what he has, he's bringing live, is just, there's nobody better. Nobody better. And I can only imagine what his career would have been like 
as uh, as 1967. You know, they're at the end of the 60s and 70s, and I think he would probably still be making great music today if he was was around. But uh, anyway, I have to go to sound check at a gig. This tour has been great with Todd Snyder. We've been playing some really nice theaters. I'm playing the Bel uh, the Barrymore Theater and I have to go over there and sound check right now, so I'm gonna cut this short, but I'll be home in a few days. We'll get back to uploading videos, and uh, I don't know. It's been really nice to be out here. It's nice to be out here by this lake, even though it brings back some not so great memories. Anyway, hope you're doing well. My, oh, I, you can see pictures of uh, the tour, Instagram, Otis at Otis Gibbs on Instagram, if you're into that. If not, it's cool. Anyway, much love to you.